here i'll be teaching you guys reversal patterns the effectiveness of reversal patterns and how to use reversal patterns to determine buy and sell zones in the market and what are these reversal patterns reversal patterns are market formations that indicate a change in direction from a rising market to a falling market or a change in direction from a falling market to a rising market we have four major reversal pattern formations in the financial market which is the double bottom formation the double top formation the head and shoulders pattern formation and the inverted head and shoulders pattern formation in order to see the effectiveness of reversal pattern formations you have to work alongside with the market key levels market key zones and on vcent 5 index you have a level of resistance at this point you have a key level of resistance here and the key level of support at this zone reversal pattern formations they indicate a change in market direction like i said earlier on if the market is trying to the downside i want to get the market signal on the reversal on it look out for bullish reversal pattern formations like the double bottom formation the vertical head and shoulders pattern formation if you can be able to identify these key levels and zones properly it will be at an advantage of knowing where the market could possibly reverse direction from and these reversal pattern formations would come up as confirmations on these levels like we have our level of resistance at this point and our level of support at this zone and inside this range basically because the market is in a range at this point we have to identify a trending market a market heading to the downside and the market heading to the upside now we got a market heading to the downside at this zone our point of focus is on this key level we have to look out for a reversal pattern formation on this level this level of support so we'll go to a lower time frame like the 15 minute time frame or the 30 minute time frame to identify this pattern formation on that level so you can see here that we got a double bottom formation we got a double bottom formation at this level which is a reversal formation and we got this pattern formation on a key level which gives us a higher probability in the change of this downward market direction remember the market heading to the downside so we're looking out for reversal pattern formation that would indicate a change in a downward direction to an upward direction and we got one at this point we got a double bottom formation at this level we got the first low here and we got the second low at this point and on this reversal pattern formations we have the neckline these necklines are like the origin of this pattern formation so wait for the market to break out of the neckline to get our buy entry so we got the breakout at this point a break and close of this neckline at this zone let's say we entered at this point we entered at this zone a break and close of the neckline a candlestick break and close above the neckline of this reversal pattern formation at this point let's change the color of this to green yeah so our entry point at this zone basically we took our buys at this particular point our stop loss will be below the reversal pattern formation which should be at this point our stop loss will be at this zone so let's change the color of this as well let's make it red yeah let's make it red so our stop loss would be at this point and our entry point will be at this zone you can see how the market boosted the upside gave this little retracement then continued its bullish move you can see we've been able to predict a change in market direction from a downward market which we got at this point from a downward market at this zone yeah to an upward market using a reversal pattern formation a bullish reversal pattern formation so that's why it can be predicting when market wants to change its direction using reversal pattern formations and we got the market heading to the upside at this point this is the market direction basically we had our key level identified already at this point now i want to determine a change of this market direction this upward market direction on a test of this identified key level of resistance we want to know if the market is going to change its direction using a reversal pattern formation so here's our point of focus right here's our point of focus basically so we have to determine the market formation at this point a reversal pattern formation on this level so let's go to the 15 time frame as well let's go to the 15 minute time frame yeah okay we got at this point a reversal pattern formation we had a head and shoulders pattern formation on this level on this key level of resistance we got the left shoulder at this point we got the head at this zone and we got the right shoulder at this point this is a bearish reversal pattern formation. I remember I stated earlier on that bearish reversal pattern formations we have are the double top formation and the head and shoulders pattern formation. That's the two major bearish reversal pattern formations we got. So we got the neckline at this point. We have the neckline of this pattern formation at this level. So let's wait for the market to break below the neckline of this reversal pattern formation. A candlestick break and close below them. Look out for our sell opportunities. You can see the market is broke and closed below this head and shoulders pattern formation our cell entry will be at this zone our cell entry would be at this point the candlestick break and close below this level let's change the color of this let's make it green right 
yeah a candlestick break and close below this level then our stop loss would be above this structure above the reversal pattern structure which we got at this point let's change the color of this red yeah so our entry point at this zone a candlestick break and close below this level then our stop loss would be above this structure so you can see how the market sold on this reversal pattern formation market moved nicely well in profits so let's identify another reversal pattern on a zone as well so we got the market trying to the downside at this point we got the market direction at this zone we got the market direction let's identify the market direction basically we got the market direction at this point market heading to the downside and we have our level of support identified already at this level we have a level of support identified at this zone so we have to identify a reversal pattern formation on this level remember our point of focus for reversal pattern formations is on our key level of support and our key level of resistance so we have our key level of support at this zone so let's identify the reversal pattern formation we got at this point so let's go to the 15 minute time frame as well to identify let's clear this right so yeah we have this reversal pattern formation on this level at this zone so we had a fake breakout of this level this is where our level of support is the market pushed further to break this level there was a break below this level of support at this point but still we got a pattern formation on this level we got a double bottom formation which is a nice reversal pattern formation so we had the first low at this point we had the first low at this zone and the neckline at this point I remember double bottom formation is one of the reversal patterns we got and the bullish reversal pattern they appear when the market wants to change its direction from a downward market to an upward market we want to have a change in direction from a downward market to an upward market they want to look out for a bullish reversal pattern formation like an inverted head and shoulders pattern a double bottom formation pattern and we got a double bottom at this point basically so we have to wait for the market to break the neckline of this double bottom formation at this level we have to wait for the break of this neckline a candlestick break and close above this neckline which we got at this point we had a candlestick break and close above the neckline so our entry point is likely to be at this level at this zone that's our entry point and our stop loss would be below the structure of this reversal pattern formation our stop loss would be at this zone so you can see how where the market is moved on this reversal pattern formation there was a change in direction from a downward market to an upward market and we got at this point as well market is heading to the upside at this zone there is an upward market direction at this point now we have to look out for reversal pattern formation on this level to determine a change in direction from an upward market to a downward market our interest is to get a bearish reversal pattern formation on this identified key level and the two major bearish reversal pattern formations we got is the head and shoulders pattern and a double top formation pattern and we got the market from a double top formation at this zone you can see this clearly you can see this clearly at this point we got the first highs here we got the first highs here and we got the second highs at this level and the neckline of this pattern formation at this zone the neckline at this point basically remember we have to wait for the market to break and close below the neckline to get our entry which we got at this point there was a candlestick break and close below the neckline of this reversal pattern formation so our entry point would be at this zone basically our entry point would be at this zone and our stop loss would be above the market structure above this bearish reversal pattern structure we can see where the market moved market moved in good profits on this formation on the test of our key level our key level is at this point on this blue line so on the approach of our key level of resistance you have to look out for a bearish reversal pattern formation a double top formation or a head and shoulders pattern formation you can see where the market moved on this formation so that's why it can be trading reversal pattern formations firstly identify the market key levels and zones then spot the market direction to that key level and zone if the market is heading to the upside to a level of resistance identify the market direction to that level of resistance then look out for a reversal pattern formation on that level of resistance a bearish reversal pattern formation like a double top formation a head and shoulders pattern formation and if the market is heading to the downside to a level of support to a key level of support identify the market direction to that level of support then look out for a bullish reversal pattern formation like a double bottom formation or an inverted head and shoulders pattern formation so that's it guys drop a good comment on this video and hit the like button for more educative content like this don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and to my journey viewers. I appreciate the support for this engaging in my videos. Chinese so guys, let's do more and do for now for the peace.